Hi everyone, it's Marissa from BumblebeeApothecary.com and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite nutrient-dense treats, Russian custard. So anybody who is interested in eating a nutrient-dense way needs to know about this recipe. It could not be any faster or easier and it is absolutely loaded with nutrients. If you are on the GAPS diet, including the very early stages of GAPS intro, you're definitely going to want to know about this recipe because it is one of the fun, you know, feeling dessert options that you can have and it is loaded with the nutrients that your body really needs to get into those deeper levels of healing. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you how to make Russian custard. So for this recipe, you're going to need some very high quality eggs. This can be any species of eggs. Uh, I'm using chicken eggs from our chickens in the backyard. You could do duck eggs, quail eggs, goose eggs, whatever you have. You do want to make sure that they're from a very high quality source. I personally only will eat raw eggs typically from our chickens that we raise in the backyard because I know how they're raised. I know how healthy they are and I trust that the eggs are going to be good. You just want to make sure to do your research, use eggs that you trust the source when you're having them raw is what I recommend. And then this recipe can be adapted to be making any amount that you want. It will whip more easily the more yolks that you have. You need at least two or three, but then you can do a lot more than that. I will oftentimes do 12 for our whole family of five of us who will eat it. Nine to 12 usually is what I'll do, usually 12. Um, for one person, you probably want to do two or three yolks and then just do more um, from there. So I'm going to be using six yolks today. So I'm just going to start by separating out the yolks into my pitcher. So you separate out the yolks just like this, going back and forth, letting the white fall down below. And I will usually break off any of that little stringy stuff and then just the yolk go in there. I get asked a lot about what I do with the extra whites since the yolk is by far the most nutrient dense part of the egg. The white is very high in protein, but you know, sometimes yolks are more what we're after rather than so much white. And so there's a few different things. You can toss them and don't feel bad about it. Cause you know, if you're using the yolk, that's the most important part of the egg anyway. So don't feel bad about tossing them. I do that quite a bit. Um, what I'll usually do is actually add them to our, our kitchen scraps that we feed back to our chickens. Um, so that's something that you can do. Um, another thing that you can do is make meringues with them. So you can add shredded coconut and some um, date syrup if you're heating it is usually best. Some vanilla extract, a little bit of salt, and then um, cook those. And then another thing that you can do is whenever you're cooking with eggs somewhere else, like making scrambled eggs or something, you can just add the extra whites to those so it's a little more protein. So those are some ideas for what to do with the extra whites that you'll have laying around. Sometimes this will happen where the egg doesn't break very nicely for me. So what I'll do then is I will just let it come into my hand like this and just separate as best I can that way. All right, now that we have the yolk separated out, we're going to just add a couple things for flavoring. The vanilla is kind of optional, vanilla extract. I usually do use it because it does make it nice. You could get away with just raw honey if you wanted because when you have really good raw honey, that has so much amazing, full, rich flavor on its own that you don't even really need vanilla, but I usually do add it. And I will add for six egg yolks, usually about a teaspoon. And then raw honey for six egg yolks, I'm going to be adding about a tablespoon. Now the amount of honey is gonna to be to taste. So you wanna make sure that it's the amount that you personally like, and this will vary from person to person. You just wanna to listen to that and add less or more depending on what you like. So for six eggs, about a tablespoon is good. And when it comes to honey, source is always very important like many other things. Ideally, you want to know the person, the beekeeper that the honey is coming from and have it be local honey, raw of course, 
We got this from a lady that I met at one of the farmers markets that's in our area. So we got to meet her and buy this from her. So support what she's doing and also, you know, have a really nice connection with where it's coming from. Then after those three things are in there, egg yolks, vanilla extract and raw honey, it's time to whip. So what you're going to want to do is just whip this. So I usually start on a slower speed and then gradually work up all the way to high. And then you want to whip on high for several minutes until it's really light and fluffy. It's going to expand quite a lot and get a lot lighter yellow as you're whipping. So I'll show you what that looks like. All right, and there you go. You see how much more expansive it is, lighter, fluffier, and now it's ready to enjoy. So we usually just pour this into little bowls or for kids, little teacups, and enjoy. So I really hope that you enjoy this recipe. It is a great one for anybody who needs to up raw yolks in their diet. So this could be somebody who's following gaps. You're on intro stage two and you're really trying to build up the amount of yolks that you're having every day and you need some more ideas on how to include them. This is a great way to include lots of your yolks for the day. Raw yolks are really helpful on the GAPS diet or for anybody when you have things like adrenal fatigue that you need to address, things like behavioral things where there might be like a vitamin B deficiency, fertility is really helped by having a lot of egg yolks. So oftentimes those are the kind of people that I see on GAPS who are needing more yolks and they're looking for more ideas and Russian custard is a great, really fun, delicious way to include lots more yolks in your diet. My kids also really enjoy this recipe. Be sure and check out that description box for links to free ebooks and other goodies as well as more of my recipes and videos. I also have information on how I can help you follow the GAPS diet. I also have a link down there about something new that I'm working on that is going to be a private coaching community. And this is going to be something where you're going to be able to have live Q&A sessions with me, a group Zoom calls with members where you can have lots of community and connection, lots of great resources, exclusive coupon codes, all kinds of great stuff. So there'll be a link down there where you can sign up to get on the wait list and you'll be able to be notified uh, right away as soon as the doors to this open and you'll be able to get more information that way. So if you're interested, be sure and check out that link down below. I hope that you liked this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else you think needs a really delicious, easy, super nutrient dense treat in their life. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.